Another manufacturing giant is putting down roots in Greater Lafayette, joining the likes of Caterpillar and Subaru. Star City's McKenna Adams tells us why Saab is expanding in the area. West Lafayette is now home to Saab Technologies' latest expansion. Today at Purdue's Discovery Park District, Saab celebrated the opening of their new facility. It will create hundreds of employment opportunities. I wouldn't um, characterize these as just jobs. These are great careers. Saab will produce airframe sections for the T-7A Red Hawk trainer program. The aircraft will be used exclusively by the U.S. Air Force to train fighter and bomber pilots. Governor Eric Holcomb says he is proud Indiana can contribute to defending the United States. War fighters are equipped with the latest and greatest um, technology uh, to keep safe so they too come home. Purdue University President Mitch Daniels says when he spoke to Saab about expanding on campus, they were most interested in the university's aerospace talent. Talking about what we thought we could do from Purdue, uh, again, in terms of the flow of talent and the, uh, the access to intellectual resources that couldn't be found just anywhere. Currently, 50% of the facility's employees are Purdue alumni. Saab President Michael Johansson says Purdue was a great fit. To, to have a university that is really advanced in, in industrialization, advanced manufacturing, sensor systems, uh, AI, close by, uh, and also having the talent that you can attract to our company from that is, is absolutely essential. Saab is a Swedish company expanding in the U.S. aerospace sector. Michael says West Lafayette feels like Sweden to him because of the opportunities for collaboration and advancement. We felt like home from that perspective. The ecosystem was similar, but a scale up, I would say, from what we see in Sweden. The advanced facility will reduce product assembly times by 80 percent. In the future, Saab plans on researching artificial intelligence and sensor systems on site. McKenna Adams, Star City News, West Lafayette.